Hi everyone, Tong Shin Min Hao. So in this little video, I'm going to show you how to access your Chinese keyboard. Now a bunch of you already have it, so if you already know how to use it, you can skip this video. This is just for people who don't have it on their iPads yet. So to get a Chinese keyboard, we are going to go into settings and then we're going to go to general down the side. We are all pretty, you're probably better at this than I am. And then we're going to scroll down and go to keyboard. And then we're going to go top one. It says keyboards. Click on that. Now I have English and emoji keyboards. You probably have a bunch. We're going to add new. Now for you guys, so we're going to scroll down and we want Chinese simplified, not Chinese traditional. That's what they use in Hong Kong and Taiwan, but mainland China, which is where we're focusing on, they use simplified. And the whole bunch here, the only one you want at this stage is QWERTY, Pinyin QWERTY. Don't worry about any of the others at this point. And we're going to click done. And now we have that as one of our keyboards. So then if I go to, let's say I go into my pages and I wait for it to work, continue, and I do a new blank page. Okay, if I want to type in Chinese, I hold it down my world button and I select the one that has got the Chinese symbols. It says Jian Ti Pinyin, which means simplified Pinyin Chinese. Okay, I've clicked on it. Now if I want to type in characters, I can do Ni Hao and all the characters come up and I have to then choose the correct character. So I'm going to choose the first one. Now for you guys, most of the time you don't want to actually type in characters at this point. You want to be typing in Pinyin. So to do that, you type, ni, you type the N for Ni Hao, but then with the I, you hold it down and you would select the correct tone. So for Ni Hao, it's third tone, so I collect that, and then it won't change to characters. Whereas if you don't hold down on the vowel that has the tone mark on top and collect, select the right one, it will just change to characters. So and then I'll show you another one, H-A. A is the one that has the down up, the third tone. Ni hao, and I'm done. Okay, so if I was typing the word like um, E, I'll type the number E. The I has the tone. So when you're doing this, you're probably going to want to have your Chinese book or a vocab list. So I'm going to put some vocab lists on the um, eLearn for you. You're going to want to have the uh, word list so that you can look at the tone marks so you know where they go. Um, or you can have a look at Pleco first and then write them down and then type them in. I'm going to show you how to use Pleco in the next video. Okay, if you're stuck, go and watch the video again or you can email me your questions. I'll put up a link with my email address as well. Alright guys, hope you're doing well. Have a great day. Zai jian.